three, two, one. Hi, we're live here, guys, but we're just waiting for Audacity to do the thing it always does, which is be super slow. Um, yup. Look who's back. It's us. Uh, now we're running. Now we're running everywhere. It's your favorite duo. We took a week yes, off yes, for yes. the Mother's Day, so. Yeah, you gotta do everything for film, Feeling recharged um, and ready to get back at it, man. This is uh, two men in the mic, obviously, you should know that by now. Uh -oh. Big Ron alongside White. Pepper. Pepper. Not salt. Not mm. salt. That's already trademarked. Not mm. salt and pepper. Just pepper. Yeah, salt and pepper is definitely trademarked. It really is. Yeah. We should try it. And see if you tried to get that push, they will push it. They will push it really. Push it on it. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, man. So, episode 78. Uh, let's hop into it with the news. Uh, we don't have a Florida story this week, though. But we have something kind of crazy. Yeah, just, other states are trying to catch up. So, Florida-ish. Uh, starting off. So, we have, I think it was in Ohio. Yeah. Ohio woman, uh, broke into a house. And mm -hmm. actually did the dishes. She did some chores. So it feels like... Where is this woman at? Right? You say she broke the law, but at the same time, she didn't, she didn't even deed. I wouldn't even... I wouldn't even try. I would, like, drop the charges immediately. So, yeah, so did you steal anything? No. Did you wash the dishes? Yes. Yeah. Oh, all right. Cool. Okay. Well, whatever. Thanks. Come back next week. I'll give you the key um, if you want to do it next week. Yeah, I'll leave the door open for you. Yeah, just come on in. Yeah. I have white dishes. I actually have a wash to do, too, if you're really, like, feeling froggy. I would leave, like, extra shit just for yeah, wash. Yeah, like, hey, man. Yeah, like... Just every time I use anything, I'm using a full plate. It's about seven pairs of Maggie shorts. To <laughs> Just saying. So, uh, same time. It'd be great if you could uh, do that for me. So, obviously, she was on her drugs. Yeah, she was. Oh, from drugs. She might be on that meth. meth. Yeah, so. You can't do that, lady. Open like, words are a bad or a powerful thing, man. I'm also okay with it, though. Yeah, whatever the hell she was doing, she was doing it. And, yeah, we don't have a name, but just. If you want to Google the story, just Google how a woman breaks in the house and. Washes dishes. I mean, I mean, like, uh, now the next one is pretty funny. Um, so in, <laughs> in Canada, uh, we had a, uh, a vigilante <laughs> by the uh, you know a Batman yes. who was reportedly trying to help in a police standoff. Well, duh. And the That's picture that we have is literally at a, it's looking at it's intersection. One of those the most brilliant pictures you've ever seen. You always thought it was actually yeah. So like, there's two people, like two bystanders, obviously probably on their phones recording taking a picture and then it's a cop like literally ready to he's like armed and ready to yeah, shoot like they're 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 on this they're in the middle of a real standoff yeah where there are guns pointed towards a house and the yep. dark knight shows up out of yeah nowhere. this asshole just standing there like yeah look at me like he's like dun, 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 and just like bro full outfit like my man bought that that, that cost like a grand yeah like, that, that might was be a grip. Not, that might be that was a grip that was he probably like paid like so that's why Michael Keaton's bat suit. Yeah, he literally bought eighty nine. Uh, somewhere, some Hard Rock is missing that costume <laughs> right now. Uh, so yeah, but he's just chilling. Uh, like he's first of all, he's not even facing the action. He's yeah, facing he's like, away. He doesn't care because he's Batman. Like, like, he, like your suit's not bulletproof, bro. Uh, it is. When I've mean, ever seen the movie, it goes clang clang right yeah. off. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. How dare you? Who shot me? Who? And then you're like, sorry, bats. But um, yeah. as you know, of course, he was told immediately to get the hell out of the way. Yeah, please, please get out of the way. We're actually in actual crime going on. Also, uh, surprises didn't happen in, in Florida. I'm thinking Canada is like a nice state. Be, it might be a Florida vacation. You know, maybe it's a Florida guy on vacation. Maybe it was called like the town of Florida, Canada. Mm. You know? And now we're like, oh. <laughs> Orlando, <Yeah>. Canada. <laughs> you know, it had to be some kind of Orlando, Florida. Orlando, Ontario. Day. So yeah, this is a pretty interesting, funny. It's uh, weird. It's weird. Just, very weird. That's bold. Like I understand if you want to like show up at like a hit and run or something like that, or like yeah, a something crime. like a little less. But like to go and be like, you know what? Let me get involved in this shootout. Mm. Again, Batman mm. has no guns. No. So are you just gonna run in the building and be like, I'll get him, I'll save everyone? Like it's and I mean he's just standing there too. I made sure too because you look on the uh, the cop car to make sure it wasn't just. Us being dumb and not understanding that uh, maybe it's part of a movie set, but it's not. Nah, this is just doesn't say Gotham Police anywhere. Nah. Um, speaking of Batman, by the way. Yeah. Did you hear it's confirmed? What? David Pattinson, or whatever the hell his name is. Oh, Rob Pattinson? Is Batman. I did see a little story. I didn't really read into it, though, but yeah. Yeah, so he's the next Batman. <sighs> and everybody is wanting for Kristen Stewart to become Catwoman. Oh, to no. relive Twilight through the Dark Knight. Would you no. accept Twilight Dark Knight? You know, like that's a badass title. And though. then like the Riddler could be uh, what's his name, a wolf. 
Oh, he, what's that? What's that dude's name? Yeah, what the hell is his you know, name? He, yeah, he, had, he was like, uh, is yeah. it something Christian singer? Or like, no, same thing? you know who it is though. The, the, lead, yeah. the lead young wolf kid. He like, doesn't like, do anything. The anymore. other one, Team Jacob, right? Yeah, you know him? I'm yeah. Team Jacob. I, I swear, I'm a wolf side. I'm a wolf side. Right. Yeah. So Jacob. Yeah, him. Like, and then like have him as like the Riddler or something like. Then you just combine like the whole main cast, bro. You know how many kids are like girls and shit and all the Twilight fans be like, running to this shit like. They should reboot that Twilight series. Twilight Batman. I like, yo, I, I'm in on Twilight. I can't do yeah. the whole Marvel thing, but Twilight, like... Twilight's where you're at. I was against Twilight because obviously it's Twilight, and I watched yeah. the movie. I thought this is pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Like, See, you know I, I, mean? I, like, I, didn't, I didn't care for them. It was very weird to me. See, I was more on the... Um, when Twilight was out, it was like, you're either a Twilight or you were on True Blood. Like, so so I, one, never, I couldn't do True Blood. Right? I didn't get it, man. Like, True Blood was very... It was the same thing. Well, that was like the X-rated version of it Twilight. It turned into the same thing. Yeah. There was a werewolf who was after the, uh, the chick, and there was a um, there was a vampire who was after the chick. Same story premise, just a lot of real fucking. Like, well, they only watched Shuba for that one, that Anna Paquin. Yes, well, she was just hacked out every episode. Every episode. By someone That's else. the only reason people ever, watch that show. You ever see them use the, sh- you know, if you ever saw the scene where they had the vampire tap her out at, like, super speed, it really? blew my mind. <laughs> you're like, you're like, do this. <laughs> and, like, you are sitting there like, for real? <laughs> she alive after that? <laughs> and he was already what? like, yeah, because they, they're fast. Vampires are fast. <laughs> so he was just hammering home on dead style. He gave her the NASCAR? Yeah. He said, like, the whole 700 laps or whatever were done. <laughs> she, and she, he's just like, <sighs> oh, get him. Get him. Go ahead, try what? that shit, werewolf. You can't do it. Werewolf couldn't have her out like Super Rabbit style. Like he did like the rabbit drone, but like in like <laughs> crazy speed. I was, bro, well, you can't you can't go too fast because if not, you gotta make it last. <laughs> if you wanna last, don't go too fast. <laughs> That's the worst to live by from the ground. Yeah. If you wanna last, don't go too fast. You gotta like you gotta like whoa, whoa, whoa. and you gotta go, like, <laughs> <and they> stop. <laughs> Like, what do you feel? You're like, oh, oh. you're like, <laughs> you know, like a complete halt. You're like, yeah. <sighs> like, nope, nope. It's like a lawnmower ready to cut off. It's like, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> and it's like, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> you can't start that, bro. You can't start that goal too bad, bro. It's a rap. You gotta think that's game over. Have to, like, told, like, like, if you go too fast, a girl can like rip on you, like, yo, yeah. dude, boss, like eight thrusts. <laughs> His was like 800 thrusts, though. He still put more thrusts in than any of us. Just in a speed that was short unnecessary. Time. He was cracking out RPM. That thing was bro. smoking, like. <laughs> it was smoking, like, burning rubber and shit. Oh, my God. Like, that had to be, that, like, blew my mind from there on out. I was like, yo, I dare Twilight to do that. I dare it. And I turn on Twilight, and someone's on glitter, and, and <laughs> she's giving birth, and then it looks terrifying. And I was like, oh, back to True Blood. Where the, the 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 gay black gentleman was getting tagged out by somebody. What? Yeah, he's dead now in real life. R. I. P. Uh, he was hilarious, and like half the waitresses were banging vampires, and they used it was kind of like, um, the undertone of it was racism. It was like a racism undertone, like because it was done in the south, and I never got were, that either. It was done in the south, and if you were dating a vampire or a werewolf, because they were known at this point, that was a thing. But if you were a woman dating a vampire or a werewolf, it was the same thing as if you were dating a black guy. It was like, it was completely shunned and you'd be shunned from your family and don't you ever come back. You're doing that dirty inner, whatever. They, they called it something like, instead of interracial, it was like called like inner species or some shit. Like, whatever it was. But the whole undertone of it was like, you know, the minority of first the majority in the South. Right, right. And then, like, it got weird toward the end because it was like, it went from just, you know, your normal, I have, there's a werewolf and there's a vampire, there's humans. And then fairy showed up and then, and I was like, oh, time out. Like, it was very hard to finish because they just, they must have ran out of ideas and then just started, like, you know, once once I saw a fairy come out, I was like, okay, well, what? this is probably where I'm going to, I'm going to call it quits. I'm waiting for a unicorn to shoot out the sky. Hmm. But, yeah, True Blood versus um, Twilight, guys, who do you have? Hit us up and let us know. So what else do we have? So uh, we have a little little milk, little Cambodian breast milk. Breast milk. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's special. Um, so we have a mother breastfeeding mm. in public, which is a big deal now. It's like people don't care anymore. No. It's just tit out. Yeah. Crazy. Just... Uh, 
So she squirted her breast milk at another woman. Yeah, obviously. It's Told her to move somewhere else because because we don't want to see you pumping milk out. Right, and that lady's like, "Please stop pumping your milks in public." So, so she, she was like, "Gang, gang, gang!" Right, she's like, "Gotta." She hit her with like two piece, two piece milk. So yeah, do you um, like, are you do you now? Are you like more of that? Do you like do you understand like? If they do in public, is it okay if they do in public? Like if they like sheet it and they're like, I'm gonna put a little ball. Uh, yeah, I can mean, I see it in like, malls. Like you walk past her and you're like, oh, that's titty out. Right. You know what I mean? It's like, right. But they, but, but you get little, it. So like, okay. There but there like, will be people who are uncomfortable with that, and if you're not, that that's something you need to understand. Like, it's not necessarily you. It's just an uncomfortability with you know. But then again, there's a whole like you know, it's a natural thing, and yeah. it's yeah. it's the body, and it's like, well, if you're a woman, you have boobs, and why are you weirded out? Kind of, you know what I mean? Right. Like, right. With like, women is different. Like women can do it, but you're not gonna see a dude with his. You know, it's weird. We no, well, yeah, I think. I mean, down to the fact that women have cleavage. Exactly. There's no dick cleavage. We don't. You don't yeah. see like I was hanging her balls out, just like <laughs> gently outside of her pants, because you can't. It's just not a, it's not, a weird yeah, combo. It's not you acceptable. Yeah. No, like cleavage. You're technically that's your that's your part of your gender. Your chesticles. Yeah, your chesticles, and you're letting like, half your chesticle out. So it's it's a weird. You know, I think it's a lot of times more women than men. Who just have a, yeah, like a dude sees it, like, okay, who is right, right, yeah. Women are like, ew, that's disgusting, don't do that. But it's like, bro, like, it's your all your women produce milk, milk, right? And it's and whether or not you choose child. to use it. And if you're going to, why would you then run home to breastfeed when you have it with you? So, you know, like, if you have a bottle with you, you're gonna feed your child when they're hungry, right? Okay, same difference. Uh, it just depends on you know your comfort level. Um, mm -hmm. but I don't think lady, uh, against it. Though, she was whatever. she was firing back. She just felt so strong. Like, boy, she you got squirted with breast milk. That's on you. You shouldn't have said nothing. Yeah. Just keep it moving. Yeah. yeah. I, were you sitting next to her? Like, yeah. Were Were you as close as me and Ron? And she was just like, oh, by the way, I'm about to feed my child. No, if you're walking by and that happens, keep your mouth shut. Just keep walking. Keep going. You know what you don't have to do? Look at it. You peek out real quick, see it. Just don't look anymore. Yeah. Do I ever look at the homeless guy who jerks off in the morning? I don't. Ah, but I ah. caught he caught my eye one time, and uh, I feel like that's enough for me. You guys connected eyes? He tried. He was trying to. He has a trash bag. And he's like, Ch -ch -ch -ch. he was kind of hammering back on the trash bag at 7 a.m. And I was like, brother, it's too early. And then he's like, but he's like looking at everybody like this, it's like giving him like a stinky eyes, right? Because he wants someone to contact him. Mm. It's just like he can finish and be like, I looked at you when I finished. And that was King Bum. He was like six eight. It's a tall ass dude. What? Yeah, King Bum. He wears trash bags on his feet, trash bag helmet, and he has trash bags on his hands with the fingers around. Oh, 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 yeah. What? And he just yells a lot when he's not jerking it. But yeah, he's so much weird shit when you go down suburban station and like yeah. any other train station. There's like this one really big woman who is also uh, homeless, um, and her technique of trying to get you to give her a dollar is fantastic. It's. Mm. And then if you don't give it to her, she goes, ah! <laughs> Bitch, you didn't even try. You didn't say hello. Your hand reached like this far from your side. And then you just looked at his anger. Like, it How dare you not walk all the way over to me and drop five dollars in my hand. Like, work, man. There's, there's some homeless guys very funny. They'll tell you a joke. You know? And you're like, okay, here's some dollars. It was worth it. You guys really, you're like, one guy literally followed me to my train. But he told me like three or four solid jokes. So I gave him five bucks. It was some solid jokes. Like, you worked for it. And you looked like you were happy and just... Or under bad circumstances. Right. That's different than being cranky and going to. <laughs> okay, don't do that. Don't be that person. So, um, yeah. So, so guys, if you see someone breastfeeding, and it's not affecting your life in any way, I feel like just keep it trucking. Okay, let, let, let everybody live their life. You probably do weird shit too. You know, everybody does something weird that probably other people would, you know, want you to squirt milk at them for. So, uh, what else we got, brother Van? Well, moving on from the breast milk, mm -hmm. why don't we get into a little bit of a uh, mistaken identity or mm -hmm. mistaken lyrics? One of my or favorite things of all time, by the way, is when you catch your buddy or something singing a song that you guys know and just just shit off the words. And you're like, what did you think it was? And you'll just be blinded by the shit that's said on this. Mm. Um, so it kind of all came about because I was... Um, listening to the radio, I think, and they're talking about the obviously Lil Nas X is on fire with this uh, Old Town Road song, um, and so the chorus obviously goes, "I'm gonna take my horse to the Old Town Road." Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. But people thought it was, 
I'm going to take my horse to the hotel room and ride till I can't no more. So why would a song be number one in the nation if it's about a, a man taking a horse to a hotel and uh, doing weird things to it? Hmm. Why would you think that was the correct lyrics for that? So that's what people are thinking the actual lyrics for this song is. I'm sorry for the, the puberty, puberty burst I'm having in my throat. I was at a concert last night, so the voice is not 100%. Um, so we started doing a little research, and we found uh, a few examples of songs that are um, also a lot of very big mistakes that people have made in them. All right, so yeah, some of these are pretty good. Uh, so, so we'll start with the first one. So we have, every time you go away, you take a piece of me, take a piece of meat with you. Mm. Kirk Blair, every time you go away, take a piece mm. of me Such a good song. with you. Yeah. From Paul Young's Every Time You, you Go Away. Classic You take a piece of meat with you. I get it. Yeah. I can see all that. I'll be yeah. mad about that though. Right. Like, yo, how come every time you leave, you take all the lunch meat? Please don't do that. <laughs> I want a sandwich too. I'm literally sad singing a song because I'm pissed about my lack of sandwiches. All right, so this next was pretty good. Um, I can already hear it in my head. We built this city on sausage rolls. Sounds <laughs> delicious. Yeah, and I, I, I can see you know what? how that you mess that up. So, in Philly, I can see that though. Right, I can see us building our whole city on sausage rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Correct lyric. We built the city on rock and roll. Obviously, From starships. We built this city. <laughs> we built this city on sausage rolls. <laughs> That's a fucking good ass meal, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sausage, sausage and peppers, 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 Saving his life from this warm sausage tea. <laughs> I don't, I would, that sounds disgusting. Sausage tea. <laughs> well, I'm saving his life from it, obviously. Ah, yeah, so you. correct lyric is spare him his life from this monstrosity. Which is much different. From Queens. And that's such a good Rhapsody. song, too. Like, saving his life from this, what is it, sweet sausage tea? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I get it, because I would, I would save your life if you're like, I was like, hey, Ron, what are you about to drink there, bud? Oh, some sweet sausage tea. Bro, I'm going to save your life from that real quick, because that's that's gross. Um, but, yeah, obviously, um, if that's the lyric you guys are getting wrong from all the fast lyrics in Bohemian Rhapsody, and the one you get is saving his life um, from sweet sausage tea, why everybody like sausage so much in these? Right. Bananas. So it could be the like Bohemian Rap City, mm. but it's Rap City. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's what you got to be. Like, oh, it's Bohemian you know, rap, rap City. City. Bitch, Rap, Rap City. Yeah. Yeah. We're in the basement. The <laughs> chick <laughs> go down. Bohemian <laughs> Rap City. Wait, what? Excuse me? So the name itself kind of throws you off. Right, yes. right. Uh, so that's what we have. Oh, dyslexics on fire. Right, right. which is <laughs> yeah. pretty obvious. Correct lyric. Right. Oh, this sex is on fire. Right. Hot sex. Hot sex. From Kings of Leon. Why, why sex would, on fire. Why, why would they be screaming out loud, dyslexics on fire? Dyslexics <laughs> on fire. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. But like, I get it matches, but dyslexics like... Dyslexics on fire. Are they saying that people who are dyslexic don't deserve to live? Like, we hate short people. <laughs> no reason to live. That's, that's my thing. <laughs> Literally. Isn't it? They don't well, have a reason to live? That's, what, like, that's what, it, to me, it sounds short like. People have no reason. That's really rude. Yeah. So this one, they're telling you guys, if you're dyslexic and you like to fuck around with words like that, yo, you're on fire. You're just in the flames. Yeah. Not sex on fire. Dyslexic mm -hmm. on fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the next one's probably one of the most popular songs of all time. Uh, I like big butts and a can of limes. <laughs> That's like a really expert, like Sprite commercial. Yeah, I'm a big ass and limes. <laughs> um, do you squirt the limes on the big butts? Ooh, ooh. now she got a cup nut butt. Can of Bro, she got a cup nut butt. That's gonna burn us. I found out that you have a cut on your butt. <laughs> cut. How do you know? While well, staying. Or... Yeah, that's the butt check. Go. And have you ever had a can of limes? I've never seen limes in a can. Mm. So that's, that's, that should have been your first. That should have been your first thing when you were singing in a can of limes. Right. You saw, hey, where can I find a can of limes? Nowhere. That's where. So obviously the correct lyric is, I like big butts and I cannot lie. I can't. From Sir Mixerlock, Baby Got Back. Mm. And, oh and yeah, I think it's maybe his one hit wonder. He might have yeah, a couple yeah, bangers, but like a couple songs, like, but you'll never get no. big butts cannot yeah. lie. Like you say Sir Mixerlock immediately. You know He's like, yep. Yeah. And like that's like the song that everybody knows from every age. Yeah. You could be like a yeah, teen. Yeah, like, yeah, teens now like, though. Oh, like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was awesome. It's like that and the thong song, I think they're kinda of like oh, man, same yeah. thing. Cisco did something like that, but he <laughs> yeah, forgot he was in Drew Hill. Like, right. Because you're always like, no, it's Cisco thong song. Mm-hmm. That was his thing. And then our last one we have I just died and you're born tonight. <laughs> Mustard no mayonnaise instead. 
<laughs> like, that's really bad. So are you taking a hoogie order in the barn on the yeah, farm somewhere? Yeah, just give me that mustard. Yo, I died in the barn tonight. Is. Mustard, no, mayonnaise instead. Correct lyric. I just died in your arms tonight. It must have been something you said. Mm. From cutting, cutting crows. I just died in your arms tonight. Classic song too. Yes. Oh, that's all. Yes. But I never once said. Mustard, no, it's no pretty. It's like instead. yeah. Um, mustard, no mayonnaise instead. That's pretty good now. Yeah. Could have walked away. <laughs> you got Doritos, babe. <laughs> like, are you finishing your order in that barn? But, like, guys. Um, that's another one. Hit us up if you guys have, like, or you know someone who famously has just shit up a lyric before that was just like, there's no way you could have thought a lyric was something like, like, as a, like, died in your arms tonight. Why, in God's name, would it be mustard, no mayonnaise right. instead? So, yeah, if you have a, like I said, um, reach out to us, let us know, send us your best ones, and we will, you know, we'll pick them out, we'll, we'll say them. Yes, we will. I'm definitely down to learn you know. some more wrong lyrics. Um, so now we're gonna let White Pepper, take it away with our ooh, beer ooh, ooh, goggles. Ooh. Get with it. Guys, what, um, we, what we got? What we drinking? Giant surprise. It's a, it's a oh, let, well, no, let me guess. Is it a hazy? Um, the words I, mm? letter I, okay, let's P daily. Wait, did you, uh, <laughs> did you look at this before uh, we started? Uh, Is that what you did? I did not. You cheated because you would have never known that this was going to be a hazy. Idea. No, get the out of here. Now, you know what? I, what? I, there's a little hint in the name. But I don't think you would know. Uh, what's the name? Um, this got? is Stormbreaker Brewing uh, from Portland, Oregon. Um, and it's called Nobody Puts Hazy in the Corner. Like the famous lyric or uh, famous uh, scene from Ghost, right? Or not Ghost, the other one. The other Patrick Swayze one. The, 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 the Dirty Dancing. Uh, I've never seen it. What? You've never seen Dirty Dancing no. with Patrick Swayze? Never seen it. You've never seen the Swayze in action? No. Like the greatest scene of all time? I had the time in my life. Lifts, lifts a chick up like this, and they spin. Oh, uh, I've seen, like, the, the but remakes. He says, that. nobody put hazy in there. But he says, nobody puts baby in the corner. Because she was left in the baby? corner. Yeah, he left it. Someone left a girl in the corner. He's like, nah, nobody put baby in the corner. Mm, he was he was spitting real. That was that was real OG shit. You don't, you, you better go back. Bro, if you, I'm just Maybe I'll Netflix it. You need to Netflix it. It's on Netflix. You need to. I, I'm sure it's always on there. Anything with the swayze is on. Wait, is that when she's in the chair and she dumps the water on herself? Yes. No. No, that's Flash Dance. Same thing. Different movie. Same thing. <laughs> Same I think thing. it was like Jennifer Lopez or something. Uh, or no, Jennifer Lopez did it, but it's, right, it, was right, like, right. it was like Selena or whatever. But no, Flash Dance is different than Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing is much better. The remake is not. The remake is garbage. Don't you watch that shit. Hmm. Okay? That's, that's, that's real. Dirty Dancing is the truth. Um, Ghost is the truth. I've seen that. Yeah. yeah, that was that was Swayze when he was he was in his bag then too. It was. He was in his real sex bag. Like that dude knew what he was doing. He was just slaying. Yo, chicks love themselves. Slaying and laying. I'm I'm okay with that little Patrick Swayze. Um, so yeah, this is a Stormbreaker Brewing. Nobody puts hazy in a corner. Hazy IPA. Um, it was delicious. Um, the 6.0. It's I'm I'm liking that. I kind of the more of these I'm getting, uh, the less alcohol for something to put in them. Because nothing's worse. I think a higher alcohol hazy IPA kind of like brings the citrusy taste out a little bit too mm -hmm. much for me, and I don't I don't want I don't want a giant uh, like I don't want to feel like I'm tasting the biggest fruit juice of all time. It's not. It's it, there's only certain things that can pull that off. Right. Uh, like mango cart. Mm. That shit can pull it off. But um, yeah, so it's hazy hazy IPA. Nobody puts hazy in the corner. Stormbreaker Brewing, I recommend highly. 6.0 alcohol by volume. And if you're studying the whole IBU thing, which is a new context, I, I'm still trying to figure it out myself. Um, there's 62 IBU, uh, which I'm assuming it, it's depend that I, from what I've read, it's like how sour or non sour. Oh, like, okay. The, that at, toward that uh, thing. But so, yeah, guys, nobody puts hazy in a corner. Stormbreaker Brewing, Portland, Oregon. Um, we do. I'm, I'm doing this right now. Oh, 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 what's, what you doing, man? I'm lamping. You're lamping. Give, give them the lamps. Don't you give them the lamps. Give them the lamps. You double lamping them. Double, double lamping. Don't you lamp them. What's my good lamp stuff? Oh, you, see, you see him lamping. What, what? What is a lamp? What I don't is know. it? Apparently, it's a. Uh, Have you ever lamp? It's our hip lingo. Oh, thank God. Manson. 
wins. Man's Which nose. means mm. looking crazy or staring at someone. In reference to Charles Manson, who was a crazy ass. Oh, dude. he was crazy. I guess it's like that. That was eyes you give, like the. Yeah, he would give them like these yeah. fucking eyes, and they're like, it's like, yo, I might be behind this counter, but I would kill your ass. <laughs> Three point two, you trust me. So our example is uh, Tony Soprano and Sir Richie April. Quit giving me those Manson lamps. Now I understand what it means. I was gonna say I I was pumped for this one because the example was Sopranos related, so I yeah. thought I was like, oh, oh in Ron's gonna be all over I this know shit. it now. When yep. Tony is hitting you with Manson, yeah, he's like, he's like what? Oh, stop him! And you could hear Tony saying it. You know? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, stop hitting me with those Manson lamps. He's mm. yeah, <laughs> close. I got a goo. Yeah, but <laughs> hey, give me some fucking gabba goo. Gabba goo. Huh. Right? I think that every, Gabagool? He's like Gabagool. I don't think he's ever going to stop it. Like, just stay away from him. Well, I would never walk never. over there and be like, hey guys, hey Gabagool. Yeah, he said that. I, I need some meatballs <laughs> and some Gabagool. <laughs> yeah? What? You see? You feel me? You feel me? having a fucking stroke. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? They talk with their hands a lot. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> what? Hey, Chico. What are you, raise your boat? It's me, the bad guy. It's and I need some guy with cool. You was Cuban, you asshole. No. <laughs> it's all Scarface is fucking Cuban, you dick. <laughs> You're just mixing countries together. You're just like, oh, oh, oh. He pokes mine in the eye, like, I get out. Hey. <laughs> guy with cool. No. Bata, bata, shaka. What are you doing? What the hell is that? I don't see ethnicities. <laughs> Hey, you gonna get me gum goo? Or you out? <laughs> you fucking out of here. Wow. Right, guys, that was, uh, my, that was cool. I worked on this. Yeah, I see, you did. <laughs> yep. All so, but 20 uh, seconds put in. <laughs> I, work, yeah, I worked on it from the minute this segment started. Ooh, to man. Ended. Um, it's hot as balls. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, it's I think I opened that, but I think the air's on. Can we just knock the wall down? <laughs> yeah, and just let the whole thing just whoosh in. Ooh, we man. do need it. We do need a studio deck. Uh, if anybody wants to give us a one of the studios deck, where we have us a little one that pops off here, and we're gonna sit outside and do it. Um, that would be, be highly be right. Oh, shit. Right. Like a second story deck. Yeah, for Glen Olden Studios, like we'd be higher than that deck. You know what I'm saying? We'll be down on decks. Yeah. Deckhead. My deck is bigger than your deck. Oh. <laughs> My <Yeah>. deck. <laughs> <laughs> On point. Bro, that could be a miss uh, lyric. Right. I was on my deck. My, yeah, my deck. Like, my deck. It's got hardwood floors. Your <laughs> deck. It's got splinters on my doors. <laughs> hey. 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 Gabagool. 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 <laughs> you know? I'm in. All the Italians take me now. Ah, uh, fucking Gabagool. Right? Once again, he's... You want to fucking smack him in the mouth. Hmm? Oh, oh, oh. I'll fucking smack him in the mouth. Do you want a pizza shower or something? So, <laughs> I wish. Next week, we can have that next pizza. All the got go away from that. Rest in peace, Mac Miller. Uh, rest in peace, yeah, R.I.P. Yeah. To the M.A.C. All the Macs. You know, Return of the Mac. Ooh. He yeah. also... R.I.P. He died? Yeah, he died. Return of the Mac died? Yeah, I think Return of the Mac's dead. No oh, shit. So all the Macs. Don't be a Mac. Wow. I'm going to be here. Um, man, anything else? We, we, we uh, good. that's pretty much it for episode 78. Yeah. We're going to do a little, uh, Mike, uh, for 79, we're going to do something different. It's not going to be a sit in studio, ooh. talkity talk, um, sweat our asses off. So like a, a field trip? We might be taking a mini field trip, um, to do a little, a little, a little acting kind of thing. We're a little acting, a little, uh. A little skit, a little something. We're gonna do a little something different, where you're gonna see us in action. You know, you're gonna see what Ron's shoes actually look like. Hey. Okay. We we talk about his shoes often, but you never see them. Nope. So you might see his shoes. Um, you might see some beer involved. We don't know. But yeah, for episode seventy nine, we're just going to do a a fun a little skit to kind of switch things up a bit, and then next week return back to uh, two episodes. What we might switch that up to. So. Yeah, listen for well, listen up for this one. This one will be out to Sunday today, uh, around six o'clock, and the special edition, I guess we'll call it for seventy nine, mm. will be out on Thursday morning. So I got nothing. You got nothing. I got nothing. Gabagool. Yes, you got it. We're gabagooling.
I think people need them. Um, all right, man. Well, until next time. Until next time. He's he's still big mom. And what is there? Still two mics. Hey, hey. hey. Actually, don't let them know. But there's three now. Shh. Don't look at that third one. Um. Have a good rest of your day. Yeah. And uh. Yeah. That's Keep it classy. Bye. There you go. Bye.